Hey guys, we're going to have a look at two potential issues you might encounter in Microsoft Excel. One of those will be what's called a circular reference, and the other one is called a null error. Okay, uh, let me show you what they actually do. Do. So let's say, for example, we have a pizza orders spreadsheet here. Yeah, these people are ordering pizza, and you want to go and calculate the total. Now, let's say you go, okay, fine equals sum. Now, normally, you know that you will just click and drag just enough to select the cells that you need to get your answer. But what happens if you do something like this? You go there, 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 but you go one extra. Okay, F7. Now, keep in mind, F7 is equal sum, F3 to F7. F7 is equal sum, F3 to F7. Do you see there's a pattern? There's a circle. Every time it gets to F7, F7 tells it, work out the sum of F3 to F7, which is working out the sum of F3 to F7, which is working out the... And it's called a circular reference. And you will get an error message kind of like this. There are one or more circular references where a formula refers to its own cell, either directly or either or indirectly. This might cause them to ca uh, calculate incorrectly. Try removing these references. So it actually tells you that there is an issue. And as you can see, there's nothing there. There is no information in that cell because there's a circular reference. So it's referencing F7, which is con it's just going to go around and around and around. So it's not going to work. That is what a circular reference is. So when a cell, so I'm currently on F7, and you can see I'm referencing F7 in my function, that is the problem. All right. Obviously, you will change that, and you will change that to F6. And then, of course, that will work. So that's what a circular reference is, something that references itself, and it just keeps going in a circle, referencing itself. Then we get another sort of error, which is called the null error. And let's say you didn't type, you didn't uh, use the mouse, okay, for this. You typed out your function, so equals sum, parentheses, and you go, okay, that is uh, H3, and we're going down to H6 uh, so far. Oops, daisies, H6, great. And I'm sure you can see already that there's something wrong, okay? But I'm going to press enter to show you what it does. I press enter, and I get this weird message it says null so i click on it i move my mouse over and it says the ranges in the formula do not intersect okay that means it's trying to find something that doesn't connect with itself so let me just show you what it means sum h3 h6 h3 h6 is not a reference or a range say so we're missing that that colon all right we're missing that colon that's supposed to go in the middle h3 colon h6 so from h3 down to h6 that's the correct answer the moment you do something here like a space okay and there is no what's called an intersection so there's no range that it can follow you're going to get a null all right null means nothing like no answer can be found for this function that you've just created and that's the difference between a circular reference and a null reference. So always, you know what? If you are not in an exam, you go here. You can see it says something. You click, okay, and it says help on this error. Click on help on this error, and you will notice you can pop open a side panel there, and it will tell you what the error is, what might be wrong, and then how to fix that. So use the help function if you are online with uh, Excel.